new man in Virat Kohli out for naught run out in the first game against Zimbabwe he's got an average of near 50 with a strike rate of 82 those are exceptional stats 200 650s for the young man Centurion from the first match, Rohit Sharma. That 114 was against Zimbabwe on this very ground. Held in the two fingers and looked to Googly, looked to have been picked, but also picked out the fielder. There's the reaction because he knew which way it was going, because he was looking to pick a spot on that onside and get it away for four. Long way up in the air, there's a man out in the deep, Delara Fernando, oh, just doesn't get there. Just doesn't get there, might have landed very hard on his right shoulder as well. Instead of running just across, felt he might have needed to go in towards the ball. In the end, had to put in a dive. A 53 for two. But short that one. That's nicely hit. There's no fieldsman down there. Into the gap. Four runs. He has been a little short today, Mendes. Got a very fortuitous wicket early on with a long hop. And on that occasion, Virat Kohli making no mistake. Halfway down, gets in a good position. And uh, able to free his arms. <laughs> Yeah, it's a really good shot. Really good shot. Just helped himself over extra cover. Didn't try and hit it too hard. That was the secret. Just up and over. A bit of bottom hand to guide it into the gap. Terrific shot from Rohit Sharma. Yeah, it's not an easy shot to play that. Uh, you've got to get inside the ball and uh, you've got to make sure you present the, the face of the bat as the ball spins back. Confident. single should only be a single will uh, end the 22nd over seven runs from it so going along nicely 100 up for India two wickets down Douglas and Lewis pass score 86 plus one I love nicely played that a very nicely played so effortless the shot from Rohit Sharma that's the talent he has. He, he's got the gift of timing he has and he's just played that inside out for four. That's a good shot. Have a look at that. He's uh, just eased that through the onside and it's sped away for four. What a great shot from Road Sharma. Oh, goodness. It's fantastic, this. Just gets across a little bit. And a flick of the wrist and lean into it. Look at the bowler. He's not happy at all. He's distraught. Mid-on has absolutely no chance because it's time to perfection. You can do well. Get after it and fetch it. Yeah, it's uh, safely say for me that's been one of the shots of the day. We've seen some big shots and it's not been an exciting game to, to sort of watch. It's just been uh, India chasing down a score really. The wagon wheel of these two, lots of singles, they've run well. But uh, India right on top here, that man in picture there, Road Sharma, he's got 49. He's already got 100 in the series so far. Oh yes. And uh, that'll do it. A, uh, easy single on the leg side and uh, well deserved and uh, well appreciated by his teammates and his management staff. Well played, Rohit Sharma. 
in a rich vein of form. A 50 following up his century against Zimbabwe. And he'll want to go on from here. His team 111 runs away from victory. a quick one it's a chance here and uh, he's missed so Coley will get through for his 50 and very well played 50 number seven for him in one day internationals continues to do well in an Indian shirt appreciated by his teammates in the change room he too will want to ensure that he keeps this going along along with Rohit Sharma decent strike rate under the circumstances don't have to go too quickly just one four so good running between the wickets and easy to find the gaps slower ball then does have a great slow ball does Fernando this is the wagon wheel of Virat Kohli and uh, not too different from the one of Road Sharma pushing the ball around. All those yellow lines are the ones uh, that they've pushed and run hard. One boundary that uh, he's hit. Also a lob over the infield. So very happy to just uh, work it around and uh, that's what they should be doing. But really it's, uh, it's been made pretty easy for the Indians. Not that they haven't played well. They've just been searching for singles and there's been no attempt to stifle those singles in this partnership there's just been four boundaries three by Rohit Sharma and one by Kohli really and uh, Sri Lanka need wickets and the one way that you can try and get some wickets is get some more players inside the circle it's just all too easy The Indians know they need just about four or five singles and they've been doing just that. They've never been stretched. Dilshan really needs to do something now. Get in, an, in fact, get in another couple of fielders inside. Aaron, one thing we haven't really spoken about is net run rate and how important that might be when it comes to a place in the final. Um, and I would have thought that uh, if not now, then surely at some point India need to uh, accelerate with that in mind uh, you know they've got eight wickets in hand uh, they can afford a hiccup if things go wrong but with Zimbabwe having won the first game that to my mind and I am really quite a poor mathematician <laughs> um, that's why we've got Pete Lagrange here our statistician but I'm glad to see he's giving me a nod or at least half a nod I think the chances what is half a nod um, the chances of net run rate coming into it with Zimbabwe having won the first game I think have increased significantly so you know if India just creep over the line here with uh, oh. a couple of overs to spare then they won't have done their net run rate significant amount of, of good but if they win really comfortably with uh, eight or nine or ten overs to spare then you know they, they've got that extra safety valve 146 for two That has been smashed. And it's a huge hit. That's one that went wrong for Dilhara Fernando. Very short. Was in position very quickly. And smashed it over for six Rohit Sharma. Very good strike. <laughs> and uh, hopefully it does uh, signal a little more aggressive intent from India in general. I know it was a very poor delivery, but yeah, a little bit more aggressive intent would be good. You know, there, there were uh, the, the 12th man that had come in. There was the 12th man that had come in. And maybe that was just the message that had come in to the batsman. Just as you were speaking, Neil. Rohit Sharma and Virat Kohli scored 105. There's just that one six and four boundaries. But 
it's been a very mature innings from especially Virat Kohli because he's got only that one boundary in his 57. He's played it very smartly this innings. I think that was the message. Or they've just heard you. <laughs> Good point you make. I, I like the way you put it as well. I mean, the bonus point, there's not going to be too many. Uh, you know, winning inside 40 overs, that doesn't happen very often. And uh, as you say, I mean, it could well be the situation that it is the difference for, between uh, a place in the final and not. So, in other words, as you said, it's worth another win or could be. Yes, in tournaments like this or tri series like this, that one point or two points means the same thing. Hang on a minute. The uh, bonus point, we thought it was out of reach, but I'm thinking now batting power play, eight wickets in hand, ten and over. That's what it'd be. <laughs> Tell you what, it uh, would inject some life into uh, the contest. 31 overs gone, 155 for two. This could become interesting. The next three or four overs will probably decide whether they go for it. But certainly it should definitely affect the run rate. I'm sure that they would be targeting that, if not the bonus point. an exceptional shot. Rohit Sharma has got the boundary that he requires for the over. He's so good at playing uh, against the turn. We've seen him play inside out to off spinners over extra cover for a couple of boundaries. This time off the back foot. Oh, he got a hand to it. That would have been an exceptional take. Didn't get the elevation that he was looking for, Rohit Sharma. But that's the area he targets over extra cover. But there's an obvious attempt now to search for that one boundary and over, at least. Good effort. That's just what you want, isn't it? Uh, hard cricket ball on the end of the fingers uh, on a day like this when it's uh, 10 degrees out there. Uh, that hurts twice as much. There's not enough blood flowing. As always, our uh, cameras brighten the scene for you. It's really very gloomy. And of course, new international playing conditions these days uh, give the umpires the discretion on whether the light is dangerous or bad enough to take the players off. The batsmen aren't offered it anymore. There's too much inconsistency, it was felt with uh, batsmen angling to manoeuvre the umpire's opinion and fielding side doing the same. and They just they actually see felt there was too much pressure on the umpires and they just leave the decision up to them now. But then it could also spell uh, a little bit of inconsistency in uh, the run of play should India be in a position to acquire a bonus point. And at the 39th over, when they need two runs more, uh, the umpire just call it off. That, that could be disastrous and in between he's managed to get it over the top this time this time Virat Kohli it is over the top uh, for the boundary they're certainly going for it at least that's what it appears as long as these two set batsmen are there they're certainly going to go for it but you know I wasn't too disturbed with the fact that uh, the batting side had a little bit of discretion in the event of light and uh, they would uh, you know accept it or reject it And again, in the air, in the gap as well, he's going to get four for it. That's the boundary they were looking for. These two are doing it well. In a I, I think they really now are going for it. They will assess at the end of this over whether they want to take the power play or not. Well, of course, there's a ball change as well, isn't there? So um, after this over, compulsory ball change. This one's looking very shabby.
He's gone over the top though. And he has cleared the fence. So he started with a six, Rohit Sharma. So maybe the intent is still there, but the power play hasn't been taken. Picked it up beautifully. Good footwork. some uh, speculation and conjecture in the commentary box that uh, India might not have known that uh, there is a bonus point available. We were just uh, talking about the fact that they did arrive in the country 24 hours before their first game. So uh, perhaps whoever's duty it is to uh, find out what the rules, playing conditions and regulations are that apply to the tournament, maybe they didn't ask that question. It would be very hard for anybody on the Indian side to justify why they didn't take the power play if they did know about the bonus point. Even if you think hard and really try and play devil's advocate, it would be difficult to come up with a, an acceptable reason for not taking it. Anyway, 36 overs gone, it's 190 for two. Right. Uh, Four overs to go for uh, India to try and get this uh, bonus point, if they're aware of it, if they're interested in it. And uh, to take you through for the next uh, half an hour or so, in the commentary box you'll be with uh, Tony Gregg and Tommy and Bangla. Yeah, between overs, that's what they were doing. They were talking about the power play. Should we take the power play or not? So I think they've cottoned on to the whole bonus point scenario. Perhaps they're listening to the commentary. Well, somebody will be here. It might be the coach <laughs> sitting in the change room. <laughs> So I can't, uh, I can't quite understand what they're saying out there at the moment, but there's a little bit of uh, chat between um, the batsmen. The coaching staff look uh, relatively relaxed, but uh, there's no doubt that winning quickly would be to their benefit. That's nicely smashed away. Very good shot. They've played some great shots through mid-wicket. The Indians, yeah, they're very risky. They're always strong in that area, and uh, that is another example. Lovely shot. Just have a look at the flick of the wrist at the end of the shot. There you go. It's on the stumps, and he makes sure that it goes off onto the leg side. Oh, nicely done. Brings up the 150 partnership as well of 161 balls. Yes, they played uh, really well. Kohli on 79 now, Sharma's on 83. And there's another short delivery, didn't quite middle that one. Fieldsman down on the boundary and square leg has just come a little straighter. Obviously, uh, that short ball was planned, hoping that uh, he'd hold out. So there's some details of the partnership for you. Timed it really well. Haven't had to take any undue risk. Little Saker again digging it in. Thinks about it, doesn't he? He's, uh, he's a very useful one day international bowler. In fact, he's a good bowler full stop. So there's the uh, partnership wagon wheel. A lot of boundaries straight down the ground. A couple of sixes to mid wicket. 
can see how they've peppered that area in the uh, midwicket. Also some good inside out shots on the off side. A few of them uh, against the off spinner. Yes, they'd be very satisfied with this partnership. And another one, so that gets them to 200. 200 for two. Yeah, it's been neck and neck, hasn't it? The way through the innings, Rod Sharma got to 50 then. Oh, hello. One short. Oh, I was going to say he'll be seething, but he's done it to himself, so that's not so bad. The scorer's nightmare. And that's uh, one scorer's really... Well, that's in the air. This will be out. Yes, it will be easily taken. Well, he's gone down the ground. Coley trying to, uh, I think, probably trying to hit it for six. But uh, the lot of Fernando way back on the boundary down there, long on. He was never going to drop that. Doesn't get all of this. And normally, when he goes with the full swing like that, if he gets it out the middle of the bat, well, that boundary is not big enough that time. Nowhere near the boundary. Simple catch. He's played really well. Virat Kohli for his 82. India, 201 for three.